these are some of the most beautiful flowers I have ever seen. But they are actually not from DC. What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm Amon Luthra and welcome to Washington DC. We are here today at the Tidal Basin which is a reservoir right along the Potomac River. And this is the best place in DC to see all of the cherry blossoms. It is super cold and windy today but at least it's sunny so the blossoms are still out. So let's go see them. There are more than 3,000 cherry trees here in DC that bloom with flowers every spring. A lot of them have been replanted from old trees, but the first ones came all the way back in 1912 from Japan as a gift. If you go back even further, the idea of bringing the trees to DC started in 1885 by Eliza Skidmore. When she returned to the US from Japan, she spent nearly 24 years proposing that the cherry trees should be planted in DC. And it wasn't until 1909 that she wrote a letter to Helen Herron Taft, who was the first lady of the 27th president, William Howard Taft. In the letter, Skidmore outlined her plan to have the cherry trees in DC, which was approved with a few adjustments. And a few months later, Helen Herron Taft accepted a donation of 2,000 cherry trees from Yukio Ozaki, the mayor of Tokyo at the time. Unfortunately, the first donation of trees that came in 1910 were infected with a bunch of insects and nematodes, so William Howard Taft had them all burned. Luckily, Yuhio Ozaki was kind enough to send a second donation of over 3,000 trees that were carefully washed over to avoid getting infected, and they arrived in DC in 1912. It took almost eight years to plant them all around the tidal basin. And to show his appreciation, William Howard Taft decided to donate flowering dogwood trees to Japan in 1915. So even though the United States and Japan have not always been friends like in World War II, we can all appreciate these trees as a gift of friendships every spring. If you want to see the cherry blossoms for yourself, try coming here in mid to late March, which is usually when they peak. And you should also check out some of the events that are part of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. There's parades, concerts, food, and so much more for you to check out, which happens from late March to early April. This is a nice little surprise. Right next to the Washington Monument, they planted some tulips. Aren't they so beautiful? You wouldn't think that coming to DC and seeing all of these flowers would be as exciting as seeing the memorials or the museums, but these are the little things that you just appreciate and you feel grateful for. What's something that you appreciate and feel grateful for? Comment down below and let me know. This right here 
is a Japanese pagoda that was gifted to the United States by Japan in 1957. Man, we really like trading gifts with Japan. This pagoda represents sky, wind, fire, water, and earth, and it had to be assembled by specialists from the Smithsonian Institution. Checking out the cherry blossoms, keep in mind that there's so much more for you to do around here. And so around the tidal basin, you can see the FDR Memorial, the MLK Memorial, and the Jefferson Memorial. And of course, the National Mall that has all of the other memorials and museums is right next door. So there's so much for you to do and see here. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe down below. I post new videos on this channel every other Friday, either an adventure like this one or a topic about climate change. And for the next few videos, I'm going to be heading somewhere super fun that I know you don't want to miss out on. So make sure you turn on your notifications as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day!